Is it the right time to buy or sell PayPal stock? Welcome back. Today, we're going to dive deep into PayPal. We previously shared an overview on our website, but now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. To stay updated on our latest analysis, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. Don't miss out on any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Looking to enhance your trading decisions? Try out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of January 16, 2024, our system has identified PayPal as a sell candidate with a score of minus 1.88. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. Interestingly, the stock has actually outperformed our system's prediction, showing a gain of 2.46%. This means that on average, it has yielded a daily return of 1.23% since it was labeled as a sell candidate. The stock is currently within a strong rising trend in the short term. This presents a potential buying opportunity. However, if the lower trend floor at $58.62 is broken, it could indicate a slower rate of rising and potentially a trend shift. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a possibility of an 18.31% change in the next three months. This could result in a return between 15.79% and 28.52%. On the other hand, the 12-month trend suggests a minus 26.81% change over the next year. This could lead to a potential return between minus 46.10% and minus 20.90%. In other words, the price range after a year could be between $32.28 and $47.37. Our latest update for PayPal brings a significant headline, PayPal stock upgraded to sell candidate. In the latest trading session on Wednesday, January 17, 2024, the PayPal stock price experienced a 2.46% increase, climbing from $58.45 to $59.89. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 6.21%, with a low of $56.47 and a high of $59.98. Over the past 10 days, the price has declined in six instances, resulting in an overall decrease of minus 2.55%. On the last trading day, there was a notable increase in both volume and price, which is considered a positive technical sign. Additionally, a total of 9 million more shares were traded compared to the previous day, accounting for a trading volume of approximately $1.76 billion, involving 29 million shares. Looking at the stock's performance over the last 52 weeks, the highest recorded price was $88.63, while the lowest was $50.25. Currently, the price is 32.42% or $28.74 below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is 80.69% or $250.27 lower than the all-time high, which occurred on July 26, 2021, when the price reached $310.16. Today, we're going to discuss the latest analyst ratings for PayPal Holdings Incorporated, ticker symbol PayPal. On Wednesday, January 17, 2024, Goldman Sachs gave PayPal a neutral grade with a hold action. Moving on to Friday, October 13, 2023, Bank of America Securities gave PayPal a buy grade with a hold action. Let's jump to Thursday, August 3, 2023 where Susquehanna rated PayPal as neutral with a hold action. On the same day, Canaccord Genuity gave PayPal a buy grade with a hold action. Lastly, on Wednesday, August 2, 2023, Piper Sandler rated PayPal as neutral with a hold action. PayPal stock has received a general strong buy rating from analysts. Analysts also rate the P-E ratio and price to book as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the stock has been given a rating of neutral by analysts. Today, we will discuss the signals that have been identified for PayPal. 
Firstly, the volume is rising along with the price, which is considered a positive technical signal. However, there are also some negative signals that may impact the stock's short-term development. Both short- and long-term moving averages indicate sell signals for the PayPal stock, leading to a more negative forecast. If there are corrections upward, the stock may face resistance at the price levels of $60.63 and $60.30. A breakthrough above these levels will generate buy signals. On Thursday, December 28, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, resulting in a 5.06% decline so far. It is expected to fall further until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, also indicates a sell signal at present. Let's explore some other signals that you might find interesting in your investment journey. The moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots show a sell signal 13 days ago. Bollinger bands indicate a buy signal 2 days ago. The short-term moving average shows a sell signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average also indicates a sell signal 3 days ago. Additionally, the relation between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 43 days ago. Now, let's shift our focus to the 12-month chart. The short moving average shows a buy signal 5 days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average indicates a sell signal 3 days ago. Furthermore, the relation between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 19 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to explore more signals. Today, let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for PayPal. PayPal has found support from accumulated volume at $59.53. This support level presents a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upwards reaction when it is being tested. With PayPal being a stock that is usually traded at a good volume and with minor daily changes, the risk associated with it is considered to be low. Looking at the recent performance of the stock, we can see that it has had a $3.51, 6.21%, movement between its highest and lowest points in the last day. Over the course of the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 3.21%. Before we jump into the potential trading levels for PayPal, let's first go through some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. A lower P-E ratio could indicate that the market has lower expectations for the company's future or that the stock is undervalued, which could present a buying opportunity. Moving on, the next earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for February 08, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for the earnings are $1.37. These numbers can have a significant impact on stock prices, so it's important to keep an eye on them. Today, let's dive into the potential day trading levels for PayPal. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for PayPal stands at $61.26. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait until this level is surpassed before entering a position. However, for those who are already holding the stock, this level could be a valuable consideration for swing trading opportunities. On the other hand, if we see a downward movement, PayPal encounters its first support level at $59.53. Should this support level hold, it could present a favorable entry point, with the potential for a rebound in the stock's price. According to multiple analyst sources, PayPal has a strong buy rating. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On January 1, 2024, Career Susan purchased zero shares of PayPal as an insider. On January 2, 2024, Sarnoff and made an insider purchase of 1628 shares of PayPal's common stock. On January 2, 2024, Dorman David W. bought 1872 shares of PayPal's common stock as an insider. On January 2, 2024, Frank D. Yeary conducted an insider buy of 1628 shares of PayPal's common stock. On January 2, 2024, Lors Enrique purchased 1628 shares of PayPal's common stock as an insider. 
Based on the most recent 100 insider trades, the insider power ratio is 58.838, indicating a positive trend. In total, insiders have bought 997,432 shares and sold 257,207 shares in the last 100 trades. This stock has received a negative evaluation and it's important to note that no stop loss has been set for it. Is investing in PayPal stock a good decision? Although the PayPal stock has shown some positive trends, we have identified several negative signals that lead us to believe that it may underperform in the near future. Consequently, we have revised our analysis from a strong sell to a sell candidate. Our systems have determined that the current price is overvalued based on the volatility and movements observed during the last trading day. On Thursday, January 18th, we anticipate that PayPal will open with a decrease of $1.11, starting at $58.78. Before we dive into today's topic, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to seek the guidance of a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you agree to accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. We'd love to hear your thoughts on our current view of the stock. Please comment below and share your opinions. What target do you have in mind for this stock? Remember to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day. Best regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.